This is the reminder move for ATM lesson number 183, lying on the feet. Please lie on your back and scan yourself. Pay particular attention to how your feet feel as they compare right to left. So as we've done before, scan your body for spaces that lift up away from the floor and spaces that actually press down into the floor. So for example, your shoulders. Does your right shoulder press down into the floor more than your left? Or is it your left pressing down more than your right? And continue down through your body until you get a good idea of what type of contact you have with the floor. And after you get a good picture of how you actually come into contact and lie down on the floor, please sit up. And sit in this way that your right foot faces the sole of your left foot. And your knees will kind of flop to the outside, kind of semi-Indian style. And would you begin with your left little toe and pulling your left little toe with your right hand so as you pull your left little toe, you pull it away from your foot, so you try and stretch it longer, and then bend it underneath the sole of your foot. And then combine pulling your second little toe together with your little toe, pulling long and then bending underneath the sole of your foot. and then add your third, and then your fourth, feeling the top of your foot bending and getting longer. And then take your right thumb and slide it between your toes and the big toe, and as you bend your toes down and in, your left hand will bend your toes backwards, your large toe backwards. So it's like you're doing the splits with your toes. And then lie on your back and rest. And compare the two of your feet. And does your left foot feel wider or longer or softer? And then come back up to sitting. Face the soles of your feet together and begin pulling your right little toe with your left hand. Just a number of times. And then add in your second little toe. And your third little toe. And your fourth little toe and slide your left thumb in between your big toe and your four little toes. And as your four little toes come underneath the sole of your foot, take your big toe backwards with your right hand. And then leave this alone, lie on your back, and rest. Now it's interesting because many times we don't pay very much attention to our feet. So to know that our feet can have the same amount of dexterity relatively to our hands is a really foreign concept. So as much as your hand moves, your feet can do the same if we pay enough attention to them. Now would you bend your knees, have your feet standing, And slowly, with your right hand, slide your right hand down and to the right so that you bend at your waist and that you can hold on to your right ankle with your right hand. And then allow that to come back up and then slide back down. Now, as you continue to slide your hand down, you're going to roll your right shoulder inward a little bit so your thumb will point down and that you can hold the right angle with your right where your right ankle with your right hand with your thumb pointing down and your palm facing out so your hand will slide between your pelvis and your heel 
and then come back. Now the next time you slide your hand down and in between your pelvis and your foot, reach your fingers down so you can hold on to the outside border of your foot, of your right foot. And then hold your right foot and begin to turn your foot inward, let your knee drop to the outside, and slowly begin to slide your right foot up and under your pelvis. and let that come back and then repeat easy you can use your left foot and your left leg to lift your pelvis slightly up off the ground and while doing this you'll roll slightly over towards your right as your right heel slides underneath your pelvis and then leave this alone and let yourself rest Now, would you do the same thing on the opposite side? So bend your knees, have your feet standing, and slowly begin to slide your left hand down and to the left, in between your heel and your pelvis. Bend at your waist, in your chest, in your ribs, so that you can eventually hold on to your left ankle with your left hand. And of course, you have to turn your shoulder in slightly have your thumb pointing down and the palm of your hand will be facing out. And at some point, hold on to your left foot with your left hand and slowly begin to, from the foot, turn your foot into the inside and slide your foot underneath your pelvis so that your heel lands underneath your rear and slowly let that come out. And again, you can also use your right leg to help and assist lifting your pelvis slightly up off of the ground. And by doing that, you roll slightly over towards your left. Not with intention, but by necessity. And then leave this alone and let yourself rest. This is absolutely a fantastic lesson for learning how to open up your hip joint in a different way and to um, be able to have a different amount of flexibility in your knee, your hip, and your ankle. So enjoy this pattern. Uh, there's more to it. It's from ATM lesson number 183 from Alexander and I. And uh, I look forward to hearing your thoughts and see what you think. Have a great day. Take care of yourself and leave me a comment down below.